Okay, I thought I'd give you an update here on the VR1200. I've done quite a lot of work on it here. It, for one thing, it has been moved to an area where it's easier to work on the VTR. I have gotten temporary air supplied to it um, through a little tiny air compressor, which is right now off because it's annoying as heck, uh, very loud. I have video going in and through the machine. What you're seeing there on the screen is video, um, EDE video through the demodulator and through all of the processing. Um, next to it, you see the oscilloscope, which I've been using uh, to troubleshoot uh, issues. Um, it is on and currently it's unable to play tape because I have to do some troubleshooting on the vacuum system so that the guide works and without the vacuum guide working you don't want to run the VTR because it will significantly shorten the life of not only the heads but of also the tape. The heads are the most important thing whose life is being shortened because heads are not being, well, they are being refurbished, but they're very expensive. Uh, there is one place that still does it. They're taking their last orders and it's $6,000 for a set of heads to be refurbished. I'm going to stop and I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and I'm gonna show you the head drum and such. Um, because I was able to get the drum tack working and get things working a bit better in the system. There's still parts that need to be replaced. There's some open capacitors that I'm working on. There are resistors that are out of tolerance, so I've gotten some new resistors to put in there. Um, quite a bit of work still needs to be done, but it is getting there. Uh, this machine has not been used since we figure about 1981. So it is slowly coming to life here. Okay, I have just shut off the compressor so that because it is up to 45 psi, so we can spin up the video heads. So I'm going to open the head gate here, hit the ready button. And you hear the heads do spin up. This is the current status of the VR1200. The next update will be after the vacuum lines have been replaced and I can run the tape through it with the vacuum guide and also after the flaky parts have been replaced in the servo subsystem. With that, once we get that done, we hope to have some off tape video then showing from the machine. Thank you very much for watching and more to come later.